Hi everyone, uh, welcome back again. Um, just want to share a little bit of a reflection with you. Uh, this is part two, part two. Uh, earlier I had talked about uh, change, just this, this topic of, of, of change and how we go through this process and how it can really take, often take time, it really can. And I want to talk a little bit about change in the context of how God can come in. How God can come in and literally rock your world. God can come in and rock your world when we're talking about uh, change. I want to share a couple stories with you. Um, I, I recently heard from a woman, Maria, and su such a touching and heartfelt story. She had gone literally through hell. She had gone through hell in a 25 year marriage and eventually her husband walked out. She would have been inclined uh, to stay, uh, but he ended it. He found someone, started an affair and wanted to go on his merry way. And she said, you know what, Sheila? I, for, for so long, even though he was not good for me, I prayed, I prayed and prayed to God to please bring this man back, bring him back to me. And she said, one day it dawned on me, that is the wrong prayer. <laughs> this situation and circumstance does not need to change. I need to change how I feel about it. I need to change how I feel about it. And I switched up my prayer. I said, God, if the circumstance can't change, please start working within me. Do a work within me so that I will feel differently. And she said, you know, Sheila, slowly and surely, uh, my dreams, my dreams uh, from my youth started to come back. I always dreamed about a catering business. And here I was sitting in this big empty house, a beautiful kitchen, and something just hit me. Go on, go on to the store, get your cookware, start placing some calls, let your friends know if they're having a birthday party, anything, you will cater. And it was inside of 18 months that I had started to turn a profit in my catering business. And it was not it was not that God changed up the circumstances. This man never came back, nor is he coming back. But he did a work within me, changed me. I am happy. I have a beautiful business. I went out and got myself a little puppy, a German shepherd, and we just have a ball. He bakes with me. We walk together. Uh, actually, my dog is a better companion for me than my husband ever was. And I tell you folks, you can laugh. <laughs> It sounds funny, but often it's true. Often it's true. You know, we will have pets that will serve as better uh, companions than the human beings in our life. I think about, I reflect on a time in my life, um, and I've been candid with you guys, had a very uh, toxic relationship. And if you've ever been to um, one of these lovely uh, carnivals and you've seen the the blow up the the blow up uh, houses the bouncy houses where the kids go and jump in you know in terms of my attitude and disposition when I met this man I think about myself as just this vibrant bouncy uh, person just loving life full of energy a fresh cut flower and I will tell you um, a few years, a few years with this man and I was completely uh, deflated. Imagine just taking, uh, taking a sharp object and just deflating one of those beautiful uh, bouncy houses. And I just was literally on my knees. I was lifeless. When that relationship ended, I found the strength to, to walk away. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, this man did not do anything to me. I allowed it to happen. I allowed it to happen. When we're standing in our truth, uh, we take full responsibility for what we allow and what we refuse to allow uh, in our lives. 
and God is my witness. I had no interest in having this man back, but boy, did I miss the old Sheila. Boy, did I miss the old Sheila. And it was a prayer. It was a prayer for internal change, folks. It was a prayer for internal change. I said, Father, whatever work you need to do within me, I am all yours. And gradually, slowly but surely, the laughter came back. The, the smile came back. Um, the winning attitude came back. And folks, I can tell you, oftentimes we will pray for a circumstance to change or for a person to come back. I challenge you, reverse that prayer. Say, Father, do a work within me. Change me. Change how I think. Change how I move in the situation. Change how I feel. And it can be just as powerful as a physical circumstance change because if you feel differently about it, is that not, is that not the change, folks? Is that not the change uh, that we all wish for, hope for, and pray for to view everything from an elevated and gorgeous perspective? So I'm here to tell you my reflection for today is keeping in mind that the hand of God can come in and rock your world. Rock your world all for the better where change is concerned. Ask for a change within you, folks, and really prepare prepare to be amazed. I'll check in with you soon. Thank you.